Okay, so in the last lesson, we saw how to make this browser router and use the route provider to provide that router to our application. We also saw that the parent route inside here can be used to essentially register a layout component that wraps our other page components. And inside that, we output the nav bar and the links that sit at the top of every page. And also we have the Outlet component, which tells the React router where to output the child route page components within this layout. Now this pattern of having a parent layout component and child route can be extended within our application even deeper so that we can have additional parent routes and layouts for different sections of the website. For example, we could register another route here underneath the other routes, which is gonna have the path of help. And remember that path is relative to the parent path so we don't need to add the forward slash to it. So this will be for a help section of the website. But within this section, I'll have two more additional pages, one for the FAQ section and one page for a contact form. So I need to register two child routes within this parent help route. And you'll see why I'm doing this in a minute. So let me just first create a route component for the FAQ section where the path is just going to be FAQ. Again, we don't need to add a forward slash at the start because this React router is making the path relative to the parent and it will automatically add the forward slash after help. So the full path would be forward slash help forward slash FAQ because this is a child route of the help route. Does that make sense? And I also want to add another route component for another help page, which is going to have a path of contact this time. And then the full path for this route is going to be forward slash help forward slash contact again, because it's a child of the help route. Now we'll register page components to those in a minute. But first of all, I want to register a layout component to this parent help route. And then this help layout component will wrap the two nested routes and page components registered to those routes within it. So then let's first of all, create this help layout component inside the layouts folder. We'll call it help layout.js, call it whatever you want. And then inside here, we can delete this import. We don't need that in later versions. But inside this component, we are going to have a div, the class of help hyphen layout, just in case we use that class to style it later on. And then inside that, we're going to have an H2, so a title for this section of the website, which says website help. And then underneath the H2, I'll do a paragraph and say lorem 10, the 10 words of lorem ipsum. And then below that, we're going to have the outlet component. So this is where the content for any nested routes, any nested pages is going to be output. So if I just go to forward slash help, I need to register this component here, first of all. So let me do that. Element is equal to, and it was the help layout. So this one right here should auto import it here. Cool. So if I just went to forward slash help now, then it would show this layout first. And then inside the main section where the outlet is, it would now show this content as well, because this is still a nested route or a nested route of this thing right here. OK, so it would show this content right here. And because we have this outlet inside this layout, when we go to forward slash help forward slash FAQ, it would show whatever element is associated with this right here. And the same for this one. If we go to forward slash help forward slash contact, it would show whatever element is associated with this route right here in the outlet. But if we just go to forward slash help, we only show this one because then we're not matching any of these routes right here. I hope that makes sense. So we just show that one in this case, and this would actually output nothing. All right. Now then, what I'd also like to do is inside this help layout section right here, I'd like to have a little nav with two links to both of these pages. So we're not gonna put these in the topmost nav over here, um, in the root layout, sorry. We're gonna put them in the help layout. So what I'm gonna do is just copy and paste this from my repo, the course files. So let me paste that in. So you'll see right here, we have a nav and then two nav links. So we need to import that, which I'll do in a second. So the first one is to FAQ and that's fine. We don't say to forward slash help, forward slash FAQ. We don't need the entire path. We only need the path relative to whatever 
layout or whatever component we're in, whatever route we're in. And since we're already in the help route and it's a child of the help route, we just have to use the same path as this. So we say to FAQ and to contact. OK, so now we're nesting those links in here. We need to import them at the top. Let's do that. Import nav link. And we also need the Outlook component. And that comes from React Router DOM. All right. So that's the layout pretty much done. And then when we go to one of these pages, it's going to show whatever pages we associate with these things right here. So I'm going to save that here. We need to create two components, the FAQ component and the contact component. Now, what I'm going to do is make a new folder inside pages because this is a new section of the website. This is generally what I do for the help section because these have routes just for the help section. I'm going to place them inside a help folder, but you don't need to do that. And then I will call this first one FAQ.js. And then I'll do the next one, new file, and it's going to be called contact.js. Now, these are going to be very simple components. Now, to save you watching me type all of this out, I'm just going to copy these from the course files. Remember, you can get that from GitHub. The link is down below. So this is the FAQ component. And all we have is the component FAQ. Then we have a div with the class name of FAQ. We have an H3 that says frequently asked questions. And then we have a load of divs, one for each question, each with a class of question. This class is so we can style it. And then inside that, we have like a question and an answer, a question, answer. So we have about six or seven of those in total in this file, dead simple. Now for the contact page, I'm going to do exactly the same thing. Let me copy this and paste it in. Very, very simple. We have a diff with a class of contact, an H3, then a form with two inputs. A label surrounds each input. And this is the label, the span, and then an input for email and one for the message, and then a button at the bottom to submit the form. It's not going to do anything at the minute. It's just eye candy. So let us now go to the styles.css because I just want to add in a few styles to make this look less terrible, if you like. So first of all, I'm going to copy some for the help layout. Let me copy these and paste them in. And you can see we have the nav styled right here to display it as flex, justify content center, gap 30 pixels between each element and a bit of margin to the top and bottom. Then each link inside that, we give a bit of padding, a border which is white, border radius four pixels and text decoration none. Now, when we hover over those, we give them a border color, which is the primary color. Remember that's red. So when we hover over, the border becomes red. And then remember the active class we get on nav links. Well, when a link is active, for example, if we clicked on this link and the FAQ page was active, then we would apply the active class to this. We can style it a little bit differently. And for that, we give it a background of the red color as well. OK. All right. So that's the help layout. I also want to paste in some for the FAQ. Oops. We've done the help layout. That's right. Uh, the FAQ down here. So now we have a background right here of black, but it's semi transparent. So it's going to look like dark blue instead of black. Bit of padding, border radius and margin. And that's all there is for the FAQ. And that's for each question, by the way, inside the FAQ. And then finally, just some for the form. So let me copy this and paste it in right here. So for the contact form, we have a margin top. And then for each input, label span and text area, we display as block. For the input and text area, margin bottom, some padding, border radius, border of zero, width of 300 pixels, and the color is secondary, which is that dark blue. So that will be the text color. And then for the span inside the label, a margin bottom of 10 pixels. So very simple CSS. So I think that's pretty much it. We have now in the root app component, we have this route for another layout for another section of the website. And that's going to show when we go to forward slash help, right? because that's the path right here. So we show that layout forward slash help. Now, when we go to forward slash help forward slash one of these things right here, we want to show one of these pages. So let's associate those by saying element is equal to. And then for this one, it's going to be the FAQ page like so. And that should auto import right here. And then for this one, the element is equal to contact. Let's click on this to auto import like so. And I'm going to cut those and paste them up here with the page imports like so. And I think my friends, that is pretty much it. So when we go to forward slash help forward slash FAQ, we show that component forward slash help forward slash contact. 
we show that component. So let's give this a whirl. All right then, so you'll notice that we don't actually have a help link inside the nav bar. We're going to add that shortly, but for now, I'm going to have to manually go to forward slash help and press enter. And when we do that, we get the help section of the website. This is the help layouts, if you like. So it's going to show for all sub routes in that help section. So forward slash help forward slash something else. And we don't show the FAQ page yet or the contact us. But if I click on one of these links, it's going to go to forward slash FAQ after help up here. And now we get this nested route content right here, all the FAQ stuff. And if I go to this one, contact us, notice as well, we're styling those active links, but I get the contact component right here. Inside the help layout, this is always here for anything which is forward slash help. All right. So my friends, that's all working. The only thing I want to do now is add that help link into the nav bar at the top. Okay, so let's head to the root layout where we have the nav bar at the top. I'm going to duplicate this, change this to help and then the text to help as well. Save it and this should be working now. And yep, now we can see this help link in the top. If we click on that, it becomes active and we can see the help layout right here. And these still work as well. Awesome.